Hollywood because of Neo's golden buzzer. He's a professional football player, but he's also a sensational magician. He's John Dorenbos. Hi. I I've been super fortunate to have a, a wonderful career in the NFL. Yes, nice play. And now this is a chance for me to take my other passion and bring it to the world. You know, magic helped me through the darkest time of my life. I just found out at, at 12 years old that my father murdered my mother. When John lost his mom, he lost the world. He took his sweatshirt and he was just rubbing it. And he says, I don't have a mom anymore. I'm sorry that our daughter will never see what he has accomplished. I would oftentimes just go into a, a really sad place. And I knew I needed to get out of it. And uh, I would take cards out and I would just shuffle. Oh my gosh, magic was the cure. So we, we, uh, we used to do tricks together. And... My, my grandpa wasn't a magician by trade, but he taught me something can be so difficult, but if I just work on it and practice it, I'll figure it out. Magic, it's guided me, and to me, that's my mom. Saying, I'm right here. I'm in the front row, and I love you. She is the light that shines on me. Every day of my life, I know my mom's there. We have a prediction in a bottle. I wrote something down, and we're going to set it right by you, Simon. Now, the last time I was here, I did the drawing. So I thought we'd mix this up, and I'm going to put these poster boards in front of you. You guys have markers in front of you guys, and what I want you to do, make sure nobody can see this, but I want you to draw something and keep it to yourself, okay? So hold it close to you. Draw whatever you want. Draw, Simon, keep it close to you means like put it up against your chest so I can't see it, dude. All right, here's the deal. It's a personality test. So you can actually figure out a lot about people and what they're thinking, what they're believing, their hopes and their dreams. Dudes draw like axes and swords and Viking ships. Chicks draw like birds and flowers, you know, and sunshines. So when nobody can see this, everybody put them face down. All right, are they all face down on the table? Yes. Okay, I don't want to see anything. Mel B, collect them all, and I want you to shuffle them up so you don't know the order and I don't know the order. All right? And now we're going to try and get in the heads of these guys and women. Hand me whatever one you want. Face down. Don't look. Oh, perfect. Oh, oh, this is beautiful. Now, um, as you guys can see, this is kind of a smaller-hearted person. I, I, I like the big hearts, but this is a, a little tiny heart. But I see success in this one. And if we actually go with this, I mean, Heidi, I, I think you have a big heart. Melby, I think you do too. But for some reason, this heart is leading me to you. Did you draw this? Yeah. Hey, there. One more. Hey, we're one for one. We're one for one. Hey, give me another one. Give me another one. All right, here we go. Oh, this is perfect. I love it. You know what this reminds me of? Big guy in a little coat. So look, Howie, I love it. But Simon, I'm just guessing. I don't know, but this looks like something you'd wear. I'm guessing. No, it is my... It is yours. It's my sweater. That's your sweater. That's why I came over to you. Two for two. Give me one. Give me one. Oh, this is great. This is great because, believe it or not, people will actually do self-portraits on how they view themselves. Somebody that flies in the wind. Now, Simon, I love you, man. I, I, I don't think this is yours. So, Heidi, I'm just going to guess that you're the butterfly of the group. <laughs> All right, now we got one left. Yes. We got one left. Now, hold on. We got one left, and it's obviously, Simon, it's obviously yours. So I'm going to try and guess what this is. So I don't want to see it. Heidi, I'm going to take your butterfly. We're going to go like this. Simon, I'm going to draw a sketch. All I want you to do is think about what you drew. Okay. Don't lie to me. I okay? Won't. Don't be that guy. I was. <laughs> okay. I got this. Think about your drawing. Simon. A simple yes or no will do. My drawing will match yours. Did you draw a pickle on a treadmill? No. No. Ladies and gentlemen, has predicted no. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Now, hold on, that's not very good. America wants to see what you drew, Simon, so let's check this out. Oh, this, this is totally, uh, I don't know if that's a machine gun. It's a dog. That's a dog? <laughs> it's a big nose. Wow. Dog. <laughs> okay, uh, that's a, a beautiful dog. <laughs> now, before we started, before we started, I actually, I, I had a premonition, on, and I put it in this bottle, and I thought I would draw what you drew. So do me a favor and, and take that bottle and okay. hand it to Heidi. Okay. Heidi, hold it loose. I, I don't want it to break too bad in your hand. And then... Oh, my gosh. Oh, no, really? Oh. I, I got practice in the morning, so I got I to gotta protect these. So, Simon, why don't you hold this okay. and smash the bottle oh close to... Oh, my gosh. Hold on. This is a bad idea. This is a really bad idea. I have an idea. Hold on. Hold on. This is better. I, I, I learned that, you know, when in doubt, it's always a good thing to wrap it up. So do me a favor and throw the bottle in the bag. All right? Perfect. Now, Simon, bust it open. 
Okay, um, on three, but I, I guess that'll work. Um, <laughs> okay. There's a. I, I, okay, there's a prediction in there, and it's in, and, and I made this self-explanatory with a little red tab that says open. Okay. No, no, turn over. Yeah, right there. Yeah, okay, yeah. A little red it. tab. See that? I got it. And I thought, man, Simon, for whatever reason, I thought you were gonna draw a really bad dog. In fact, I thought it would look like a machine gun. No. But now, hold on, hold on. Turn the envelope over. It's self-labeled secret pocket. Come on, man. Not only did I predict your drawing, but take those out. I said, you know what? I no, think, I think, Heidi no is going to be a butterfly. No way. No way. And you know what? I said, Howie, I knew it was you all along, my man. Because here we have a t-shirt and your sweater. And I tell you what, Mel B, you are the heart of my life. Mel B, there's your heart. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm John Dornbos. Peace out. Wow. Thank you. That wasn't just boss. My man. That was Dora My boss. man. Thank you, guys. My man. You got everyone on their feet. Oh. Howie looks like he is speechless. Oh. Are you okay, Howie? Oh, my God. Are you talking to me? Yes. I didn't, I'm just saying, wow, wow, I can't hear anything. I can't see anything. I am mesmerized. I predict that people are going to vote, be voting right now, and I predict we're going to see you for another round because you certainly deserve it. That was amazing. Thank you. We don't know how you did it. Mel B, you're shaking your head. I mean, first of all, I just want to make it clear for everybody here in the audience at home. We had no idea. No, no, really you had no idea what we were going to draw. And no. literally, I was going to draw something very inappropriate. And I drew this. <laughs> and I can't actually believe you did what you just did. That yes. is crazy. Thank you. Mind-blowing. Crazy. crazy. Heidi. You, but let's talk about you for a second because you are super engaging. I just love watching you because you're so fast and everything. I love your presentation, uh, but your magic is super solid. Cool. Solid. Wow. Great words from Heidi. Mr. Cow. Well, it was magic because he was right in front of me. He didn't touch anything, and no one's drawn my dog like that before. <laughs> you know what, John? I think you are a great guy, a real American hero, a real superstar. America's going to get behind you. Brilliant. It's the Doran Buff. Man, such a showman to be here in front of America, in front of millions right now, live on this stage. How different is it from being in an NFL game? I mean, it, it's, this is do or die. It's pretty much me on stage. So I either thought that was going to go really well or it was going to bomb really bad. So I'm glad, it, I'm glad it worked out. So this is unbelievable, and thank you for having me. Thank you for being here. Great job. Good luck. John needs your votes. All the acts need your votes as well. It's the only way they can make it to the semifinals, America. You can vote by phone or online. And if you want to use the official AGT app, you can download it from the App Store or get it on Google Play.